All right, today we have the tutorial hands-on for Cloud Document AI. We'll be using Cloud Shell where we'll be finding the commands, configuring the code there, and we'll be implementing the two important work uh, which is supported by Document AI, that is a Document OCR and a Form Parser. In both, we'll be uploading two separate PDF files present on my local computer. All right, the two PDF files uh, are uh, mentioned for the invoice. Uh, we, uh, we have these files and for the uh, document OCR, we have the sample OCR. Let me show you how the input files looks like. So this is what it goes for the invoice uh, PDF, which will be uh, uh, scanning. Next is the uh, sample file, which contains some dummy text uh, here. So it, uh, the file contains some graph structure tables as well um, and some image as well. So let's uh, check in the document AI how it interprets it. All right, now I'm in the Google Cloud Console. So first things first, since we'll be uh, firing all the commands, we need to enable the document AI API. Uh, we need Cloud Shell for it. Let's click on Cloud Shell, activate Cloud Shell. Let's hit the continue button. Let's click authorize. All right, now I'm in the cloud shell. So we need to fire the document uh, AI API uh, command. So I have uh, the command here, enable the document AI. So the command looks something like this. Let me control C it, copy. Let me do control V for paste. I'll hit enter. And here it says operational uh, operation Finish successfully. We got the successful message. So this looks good now. Now in the search bar here, let's search for document AI to get started since we have enabled the service now. We have the document AI product. Let's click on it. And here, uh, if we uh, look here, we have the explore um, processors here. Let's uh, click on explore processors. Now here we have tons of things, custom classifiers and all. So for uh, this hands-on, we will implement the concept of document OCR, that is optical character recognition and uh, form parser. There are uh, tons of other things which document AI can do, but uh, for the simplicity of this tutorial, we'll stick to just the first two. So let's begin one by one. We'll click on document OCR first. Let's give a name to our uh, processor. Once the name is fine, please note there's a region, US, it's selected. We have just two options, EU, that is European Union and US. This is very important. Why I'm saying it? Because if we look at the code now, I'll uh, scroll down here and here it asks for location. If you look, the eligible entries are just US and EU. I'll create it in the location US. That's why I have hard coded it US. If you want to create in the EU region, European Union, you can write EU. Please uh, make sure this is important because if we, if you uh, write the code uh, incorrectly, then uh, your code uh, might not work, right? It will throw error. So this is very important thing. Whatever region we select, uh, we need to mention this. Um, I'll be using US. That's why I have written US. Let's go back now. And here, US I have selected. Let's click on create and go ahead with it. So it says uh, processor created successfully here in the message and status it shows enabled. So this uh, looks good to us. Now the IDs, if you look, this is very important. Again, why I'm saying very important because let me show you the code here. It requires um, two things, basically the project ID, which I'll be showing you how to uh, in a while, how to fetch this. Um, second is the processor ID because we need to um, hard code this uh, value in the processor ID. Another way is to configure environment variables, which I have uh, shown you previously. That is another way instead of hard coding uh, these uh, values. But uh, for this simplicity, we'll uh, for now hard code this uh, value. So please note the processor ID in a safe place. I'll copy this and save it in a notepad. Now I have uh, made a note of it here. Uh, the uh, document OCR, uh, the ID here. 
so i'll be requiring it while i'll be configuring the code so for now uh, we are good now i uh, will uh, go back to the uh, cloud shell i'll click reconnect and i'll go to my code here and follow these steps so i have already uh, done this in enable the document uh, ei api now let's install python client libraries one by one if you uh, read uh, the uh, uh, the commands what it does it will just get it it's the, in the end it's written document ei right so these are client libraries for uh, whatever it uh, mentioned here so easy to follow let's copy this and i'll execute one by one paste it here and hit enter and there we go it says uh, successfully installed here if you look so now we are uh, ready with the second uh, command let's copy this this is about cloud storage i'll just uh, control v paste and hit enter so again we are good it says successfully installed so second one is also uh, fine now let's go ahead with the last one that is the third uh, python client library let's copy this i'll hit control v and enter all right this looks good now so our next step will be to upload the sample files so i have the sample file on my local computer as mentioned so first we'll be using sample.pdf uh, for the uh, ocr part next in the uh, form uh, we have the invoice let's um, upload this sample.pdf now so here we have the three dots more i'll click here and click on upload to browse from my local computer i'll choose the file i'll choose files here please make sure to select the correct file i'll select sample and hit open and here let's click on upload here we have the progress bar it's green check mark it shows uh, the upload is now completed now uh, we'll uh, create one file in Linux, if you are familiar about Linux, you uh, might be knowing the vi command to create. Uh, it creates a file in Linux. So we'll be uh, editing the file uh, that is um, online uh, processing dot py. Py extension stands for it, it is a Python file, right? Previously we have installed Python libraries. That's why we are writing the code in Python. The entire code here, if you look, it is in Python. So let's uh, first create the file, then we'll be um, editing the contents of the code let's paste vi online pi we are inside the file and it is a blank file so in uh, in order to write anything i'll type uh, the letter i on the keyboard just the letter i i'll press i and if you see it's insert mode now we can uh, write the uh, code or paste the code so i have uh, the uh, code here let's um, copy it uh maybe in a notepad and then paste it it is easier so uh, let's do it let's um, paste this to control v here now we are good if if we go up we need to substitute two things the project id as mentioned and the uh, processor id processor id uh, remember we have noted in the last step here this one is the processor id i'll copy this um, let me go here let's delete this we need to put the processor id within the two double quotes let me delete this i'll hit ctrl v for paste it got pasted please make sure each letters are there if any uh, incorrect thing we enter our code will fail now the only thing we need to replace is the project id so how do we get project id there are uh, two ways uh, whenever you start the google cloud console there will be a card um, where, where it shows uh, your project ID and everything and the second way uh, how to fetch the uh, project ID is by clicking here uh, I'm not showing it because uh, uh, the project IDs and all uh, you can it, it's a very easy process I'll just um, paste my project ID and then exit out of the code so once done writing the project ID I'll hit escape in the uh, on the keyboard uh, then I'll hit colon wq colon wq saves uh, will save the file uh, in linux linux whatever changes we have made i'll hit enter so my uh, file is now saved uh, you can view uh, the file by doing cat then space the uh, file name for this i'm not doing it you can uh, um, do it uh, to check the contents of the file that what it does in linux 
now uh, i'll i need to execute this file right so in uh, python how do we execute it we write it python3 then the file name whatever we have created to execute the code so i have done the hand uh, homework for you i have the code here um then now let's do control v and check whether our code runs fine or not hit enter if no error in the code it will run and give the result straight away all right it looks good there is no error in our code that's why it has read the contents of our um, pdf file if you look if we uh, look here uh, lorem ipsum now let me open the pdf uh, side by side to show you and here we go it says text lorem ipsum which is this one then lorem ipsum dollar said something emit this these are written uh, then this line if you look is this one so everything uh, the document di is done uh, perfectly if we um, uh, go down here all the things uh, it has uh, scanned and given us the uh, results if we uh, go to the last line it says something set emit id span set emit id span so end to end uh, we got uh, what is the contents of the file right so that uh, we are done with the ocr part that is uh, document ocr part now let's go ahead with the form parser uh, where uh, we have the input file which is this one let me zoom it out to show you what it looks like so this is our input file we have the data here now let's uh, repeat the process um, for the uh, form parser the process is uh, same uh, we can go navigate here as well but i'll show you from the scratch again uh, from the search bar we'll go to the document ai now we'll go to the explore processes i'll scroll down here and go to the form parser now let's give a name to our form parser again the region i'll be setting to us let's hit uh, the create button if it looks good now we got a different set of id again please uh, note this id and please do not confuse this id with the previous one because we'll be requiring this in our code just like we have done in the um, document uh, ocr i'll uh, paste it uh, I'll, I'll just keep this uh, here as handy now let's uh, reconnect here if it gets disconnected now we uh, need to install the pandas library if you are familiar about python you might be knowing what pandas is all about since it's a, a basic tutorial a basic certification now i'm not going deep into the pandas because it's a completely different set of a vast area in python pandas if you're familiar uh, about python you might be heard about pandas libraries and all uh, especially data science if you're in uh, let's um, clear this thing out i'll paste this here it will be installing pandas let's wait for a while all right it's done looks good now let's uh, browse our uh, second file that is uh, on our uh, local computer that is the invoice file we have uh, we'll be browsing this um, on the cloud shell i have the three dots here i'll upload here and again i'll select file and choose files now uh, let's select the uh, the last or the second file that is invoice because in the last step we have uh, scanned the sample I'll select invoice or double click it. It will uh, get here. I'll click on upload. L all right, we are done with the upload. It's quick. Let me close this because we got the green mark saying the upload is complete. I'll close it. Now um, we need to create different file where we'll be writing um, the code for the form parser. And how do we uh, create one file in Linux? we use the vi command then the file name file name is form parser dot py i'll copy this it will create one uh, file let's click reconnect if it disconnects all right looks good i'll hit um, uh, vi and i got the blank file here i'll type i insert mode in the keyboard to write um, the text now uh, let me uh, go to my uh, code here uh, let me copy paste this quickly all right let's do a control v here i'll go all the way to the top because uh, uh something in the middle i'll say because we need to replace the project id again i have shown uh, mentioned you how to get the project id 
that is Google Cloud. If you create, uh, click here or in the uh, just the landing page, it, it shows the project ID with a card. You can click on here as well. This is the, one of the simple process. Now um, we need to change the processor ID here, right? Please make sure to change it. Otherwise we'll be getting error. Other homework I have already done and hard coded the values that is file path. That is the file name we need to put. And uh, please make sure there are no spaces. I think we have uh, uh, written one space. All right, let's do the change in the um, maybe the uh, here by mistake. It was a space. All right, looks good. Please make sure there is no space. And whenever you upload any file, please make sure to include the extension. Otherwise, your code will throw error, right? These are some quick tips I'm uh, sharing with you from my experience. Now, let me go back here in the form processor part. I'll just copy this. I'll, I'm here. I'll hit control V and it looks good uh, because my processor ID is in within the double quotes. Please make sure it's exactly the same and it's within the double quotes with no spaces. Looks good. Uh, let me quickly edit the project ID then I'll save this all right I have edited the project ID as well I'll hit escape on the keyboard then hit colon WQ enter so now my uh, file got saved I'll clear the screen by typing clear now it looks uh, neat and clean I need to just execute the uh, Python uh, code or the Python file where uh, which we have written the code just now the execute command goes Python three space the uh, file name right because we have written the code in python that's why it's python 3 i'll, I'll just uh, copy this and execute the code and uh, uh, making sure we get no, no errors this time as well hitting enter and there we go no errors again and uh, we we got the file uh, uh, the contents here uh, if you look and uh, please make sure to zoom the screen bit otherwise you might get cropped results what I have done, I have cleared the screen and made it uh, bigger by moving this up, right? And then executing it. We can uh, anytime do it by hitting the clear button and uh, then I'll run the code. Please make sure if you have uh, like minimized this uh, cloud shell, you might get cropped results. You, your results might, uh, look, not, might not look something like this. In order to get accurate results, please make sure to pull this uh, cloud shell uh, tab entirely up move all the way to the up now let's compare this side by side with our pdf file what we have as an input all right uh, it's a little bit difficult to show here because the contents of uh, the uh, pdf is uh, too large but i'll uh, try to adjust anyway it says build to here we have the uh, build to we have the uh, microsoft finance something uh, written one two three uh, which is this one right this line then we have the ship to ship uh, ship 2 is nothing but this one if I scroll down uh, scroll right ship 2 is there same for the uh, service address which is this one and in a nutshell it will uh, uh, give um, the document is powerful enough to scan all the documents right we got the confidence score as well here and the more higher score the more accurate uh, the uh, our um, uh, document EA is confident okay this one is this text or, um, the, or uh, this thing is contains so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let's brush up the whatever uh, concepts we have implemented in the hands-on from the scratch we have done. Uh, we have enabled first of all document AI, then uh, we have uh, fired or written the codes there, right? And uh, then we have input the files for document OCR, scanned um, uh, the contents of it. Same process we have repeated for the form, form processor. And we got the contents of the form processor, which document AI did it beautifully and perfectly. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's meet in our next lecture.